Do you see what I do? What are you doing? Well, well, another free city. I'm so annoyed. Ah, why so glum? The old hag holding out on you. Everyone's always on. They've learned to know mm. mistake. It's dreadful. Uh, uh, and whosoever right. contributes coin no, to the cause, the way the guard the guard shall be Did you catch him? Oh, no. Uh, unwavering uh, in the power of the this flag. I scrambled out the old in the back wall. What do you want? And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers? Away with you, vagrant. What's this? Didn't hear me tell you we ain't looking for no cook. Sod off! Uh, I bid you. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly. An oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. You would. Rosevar Atra is expecting me. 
Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. I hope you realize what you've gotten yourself into. I hope so too. Miss Rosa's got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Not to hurt the little miss, or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. This is so exciting. Uh, what's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a Zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer, don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know, terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so, but... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship. If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. I... Oh! Ooh. Yeah!
swords when you can barely handle one. Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Varatra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Sorry, you lost me. You're not the first to be confused. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city, never taken sides, always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Changing subjects. 